we look at the Ethiopian Orthodox Church and in our studios is Archbishop Isaac, who is Archbishop in charge of the Ethiopian Orthodox Churches for the Western Hemisphere. He talks about the current crisis in the Ethiopian Orthodox Church as well, about, as well as the relationship between the Church and the Rastafarians. We answer your questions. Do stay tuned. Archbishop Isaac, it is so good to have you on the, on the program. Thank you. The, the, the Ethiopia, Ethiopian Orthodox Church is known by many people, but a lot of people do not know exactly what the Ethiopian Orthodox Church stands for. Many people think it's a Rastafarian church, it's a, it's a church of the Rastafarians. You are the man who established a church in Jamaica right. in 1970. Right. That's what, right. 25 years ago, right. you established a church right. um, here. What is your relationship with the, with the Rastafarian co co community? Okay. Well, the Ethiopian Orthodox Church is known as the ancient Christian church in the world. The oldest Christian church. The exactly. oldest Christian church in the world. And it teaches Christ as creator and savior. Mm -hmm. uh, and also uh, maintain the apostolic uh, tradition and succession. Mm -hmm. Well, when we come to the Rastafarian uh, philosophy, it is well known I don't have to explain their philosophy. Mm -hmm. Meet the Rastafarians of Ethiopia, a band of believers who have made their way home to the promised land. I was born in the Caribbean island of Jamaica of African parentage in 1981. I decided to take up the challenge and with my life's earning, I made the trip to Ethiopia. Rastafari concept is one, his majesty, Ali Selassie I, is the return Messiah, Jesus Christus in his kingly character. Two, we believe in a United States of Africa and three, repatriation and reparation, Amos, will be in our time. Greeting my lord. Rastafari. Former Ethiopian Emperor Haile Selassie, or Rastafari, granted them a plot of 200 acres in the land of their ancestors. Today it is governed by this council of elders. We as humans believe in, 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 in uh, repeating the Lord's prayer, thy kingdom come on earth as it is in heaven. So we see it is justified to see Ethiopia as the promised land, the new Jerusalem. We see this is the seat of knowledge, the place where the original birthplace of mankind. So we see the old nation of Ethiopia as a place where kings and queens of helped shape the history of the world. Rasta. Tell us what a Rasta is. See, Christ promised that he will return within 2,000 years. You know, mm -hmm. and he said, when he come, he will be the king of kings, the lord of lords, the conqueror of the land of Judah, through the lineage of King Solomon and King David. Now, my life has great meaning to me. So I really search to find out if God is here. And I search, I look, I look in Ethiopia, I look all about, look in Germany, you know, because I'm not prejudiced. Me look for God. I look in Ethiopia, I see one man stand up with these names, Emperor Elias Selassie, name King of Kings, Lord of Lords, Conqueror the Land of Judah, through the lineage of King Solomon and King David, written in the Bible. Now, one of my things is that um, the Bible, let me say that King James edit the Bible. Now, my understanding is that if King James edited the Bible, I don't think he would edit it for the benefit of black people. So when the revelation turned out that Isla Selassie is the king of kings and the lord of lords, coming straight through the lineage of King Solomon and King David, then, you know, we really know that this is a Christ return. Because we know in this world, yeah, when the white man, when the white man edited it, he wouldn't edit it in our behalf. You know, England more edited to make it look like England going to be the, the big, big thing. 
But in the last days, they'll prove out that is is Ethiopia, Isla Selassie, you know. And Isla Selassie's name is Rasta. So we are called Rasta, you know, called by his name. Uh -huh. And then, it's a lot of things. We go as far as saying, him say, when I return and you call upon him, now this is God, him say, when I return and you call upon him, your mother and your father will forsake you. Now, we know that if you call upon the Catholics, 70 to uh, 1915, 